So it was about 14 months ago that I made a video to do with one of these, an Euler's disc. Although, last time, that was a homemade one, and I clocked it at about 20 seconds. This one, being a real one, can do up to a minute 40 I've timed. Now these things are pretty cool in the way they work and in the way they sound. Now as you can see from the opening shot there, the frequency was increasing at a steady rate, which makes a really cool sound. But anyway, how does this work? I have explained it before in my uh, video of my homemade Euler's disc, but I'm going to explain it again. So the way this thing works is actually quite simple. It has to do with center of gravity, kinetic energy, and of course, friction. And before I go any further with the explanation, I'd like to name one technical term, that being when this actually spins, it's called spooling. That's because the Euler's disc is both spinning and rolling at the same time, and that is in fact the technical term for it. And so as I mentioned before, three main things, center of gravity, kinetic energy, and friction. So as the Euler's disc is spooling, the point of contact between the mirror and the actual disc itself is very low, therefore having incredibly low friction, so not a lot of energy is lost in that. And as you start the disc, you hold it up like this, giving it a relatively high center of gravity, and then as time goes on, that center of gravity slowly decreases. So the high gravitational potential energy gets turned into kinetic energy, which is where it gets energy from to increase the frequency of the spin. So to sum it all up, you've got high gravitational potential energy, which gets turned into kinetic energy, which is basically movement. And so the frequency of the spooling increases. And of course, due to the low friction, it can spool for a long time. So there we have it, the Euler's disc. And if you do want one of these yourself, there will be a link in the description for one of them so you can purchase it. So uh, there we have it, there's the video. If you did learn something and you think I've earned it, then do please consider subscribing. But until then, I'll see you next time.